Ian, why don't you watch that Rampage trailer? All right, I gotta watch this fucking shit. <laughs> I'll rewatch it. Okay, Ian, we just watched we watched the trailer <laughs> for Rampage coming out uh, April twentieth, two thousand eighteen. See it in real D, three D, and IMAX. I don't know what the hell real D is. What do you think, Ian, about Rampage, the video game, the movie coming out? What do you, What do you think about that? Um, <laughs> I mean. It's monsters fighting each other, which is about the best route they could have taken with it, I think. It's the only route you can take a Rampage movie. Yeah, but they, I've seen a lot of shitty takes on video game movies. Sure. So, so okay. So, in the trailer, George, the 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 albino-looking gorilla? I get He's silverback. More, more than silverback. It was, it was white. White. Um, he's... In the, in the lore of Rampage, it's the human scientists that turn into the monsters. Yes. In, in this, there was, a, I guess, some sort of weird contaminant, some government contaminant that got on a, a regular gorilla and just made him bigger. Mm-hmm. I'm already pissed about that change. No, I don't care about that. I mean, come on. It, it, that's probably the it's best fine. way to go. Then you have, have The Rock as a protagonist, who, by the way, is now officially the same character in every movie. movie. Yeah. It's the same director of San Andreas. And San Andreas, he knew how to fly a helicopter, I think. He flies a helicopter here, too. Okay? I think he's wearing the same clothing. Probably. Yeah. Short, tight shirts. Yeah. I think he Can't probably be. flew a helicopter in, in G.I. Joe 2 as well. <laughs> so, officially, The Rock is the same character in all these movies. Um, Every have, action, man. You have Naomi Harris in this, who has been, uh, what, Pirates of the Caribbean. She's been the new Money Penny in the James Bond movies. She's a good actor for what I see. She's been in a lot of stuff. She was in Moonlight. I'm looking at a lot of stuff she's been in. A lot of stuff. She's showing up everywhere. That's fine. Okay. I'll just go out and say this. I understand we need our action stars. Totally get that. I understand we need our sex appeal for both uh, the ladies who get in the theater and the men. You know, you can say Rock's probably an attractive, one of the most attractive men out there. Yeah. He's in great shape. Probably better shape than ever been in his life. And he's like his mid-40s. Eats a lot of cod. There is... You're stretching the realism a little bit when the character of Davis Okoye is a ripped helicopter piloting uh, ape expert. At some time, you got to take a break. You have time to, to get your PhD in primate studies and fly a helicopter. And by the way, you're fucking ripped as well. Something's got to give at some point. Unless you're just the biggest renaissance man in the world. Oh, Am I right or not? You're Is, right, you're I right. mean, come on. You're right. You're right. Can, can, we, can we have him be part of a, of a team where, like, <laughs> you have a smart Jeff Goldblum type character, and by the way, you happen to have hunky, sexy, ripped rock who's part of a mercenary crew? Like, I'm just saying, some realism. Jeffrey D. Morgan is back playing now Negan now in in the role, and I love Jeffrey D. Morgan going back yeah. to Watchmen. He was a pretty good comedian. He's been other stuff here and there. At some point, a government agent in these movies has to come across as an actual government agent, not just the biggest asshole walking the face of the earth. At some point, I'm just saying, we've seen it before. The cliche of the government agent not giving a shit about the population of people. We're the government. We know what we're doing yeah. until they don't. don't. Which in this case is uh, George growing out of the cage and then rushing and escaping and then leading to Fighting a wolf. And fighting a wolf, which was in the original movie. Yep. Oh, excuse me, movie, original game. What was not in the original game was a giant crocodile. There was a lizard. Yes. But we can't have... We can't get sued by Godzilla. Would they sue over... Uh, do, they, do they hold the, the copyright on any giant lizard creature? Is that a thing? I don't know. Because doesn't that mean that Universal could go after them for having a giant gorilla that could resemble King Kong? I don't understand how this works. I really don't. I'm honestly asking the question. I don't know. I don't know. They specifically have to say in the trailer, that's an alligator. Okay. Papers are going to get served somewhere. I'm not sure how you can tell it's an alligator underwater, hunky rock Davis Okoye, but I guess you can tell that. That it's not a giant lizard and it's an alligator. You, you have that that ability because you're hunky and you're an expert on, on giant animals. You're made out of peanut butter fudge. While, while you also go to the gym two hours every day and lift and also know how to fly a helicopter. Let I don't me, know. Let me cut into you. Um, anyway. Oh. Hey. 
Did I just go on a, a, a rant about this movie? I, it honestly doesn't look that bad, to be honest. No, it doesn't. It, 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 it could be a lot worse, I'll be honest. It could be a lot worse, that's what I'm trying to I get mean, at. I've seen these before. San Andreas was one of those forgettable movies. By the way, it, there's all Watchmen car- uh, actors in here. Jeffrey D. Morgan's in this. Malin Ackerman, who is Silk Spectre 2 in this. Um, and then also in San Andreas, you have Silk Spectre 1. Uh, Carla Gugino was in that. I just don't know what's going on there. I'm just, I'm just commenting on that. You have half the half of the Watchmen universes are in these two movies. That's anyway, all I'm saying. Roundabout way of saying this whole thing is a fucking mess. I mean, but 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 you load me up enough, and I'll go see this. <laughs> I actually tweeted: Is this stupidly awesome or awesomely stupid? I think it might be st- stupidly awesome. awesome. So it means it gets your ticket, but if it was awesomely stupid, it would not. Awesomely stupid would probably also get a ticket. <laughs> it would also, but I, I just don't know that I'm actually going to go see it. It, the thing is, is like this is one of those movies where it's like, well, okay, if I'm gonna go see this this probably objectively shit but perhaps fun movie, I should go see this in the theaters on the big screen because it's all about big monsters and big muscles and, and big, big muscles, big chesticles, Ch- yeah. chests, and uh, just my man. <laughs> and... <laughs> We can't have Jason Momoa and The Rock in the same movie. No, oh, no. We no, no. couldn't handle it. Men would feel inadequate forever. <laughs> we couldn't oh do that. God. Just be a lot of chest slapping and my man. I get the, get the uh, diesel in there too and forget it. It's over. Oh, it's finished. Uh, it's just fucking testosterone flooding. By the way, streets. you want to see a movie with apes? I just saw on the plane two movies. There weren't, there weren't apes in the first one. A lot of man, manliness going on. But I just saw The Fate of the, the Furious. Fast and Furious 8. Mo. I don't know how that movie is going to be forgettable for me, but I've already forgot the movie of, of Fate of the Furious. The Civil War of the Fast and the Furious franchise. Mm-hmm. They're all unbelievable at this point in terms of what goes on. They're all superheroes. They all team up. But I saw afterwards, War for the Planet of the Apes. Holy fuck, is that a good movie. Really? That was that did a, did big business last summer. Yeah. And was critically, uh, critically acclaimed, I guess, the third in this trilogy. It might be the last one. Go see War for Planet of the Apes. Outstanding movie. Who directed it? Uh, I forget. I mean, I mean, outstanding movie. And that was a quote-unquote summer b- blockbuster. That was. I'm gonna search just on this tab that says is John. <laughs> is what? Is John? I still have. He's not a mercenary. I know he's not. But I still oh, hope oh, Jax doesn't listen to this podcast. Now Jax is not a real life mercenary. He's just really into fitness. Yeah. Anyway, so that's what's going on there. Anything else to add to uh, to the uh, the rampage trailer talk? No. No. I could be bribed to go save with cookies. <laughs>